everybody, welcome back to another Transformers review. It is me, TF Nosey, and the figure I am talking about today is none other than, oh yeah, Optimus Prime from Transformers The Last Night. This is the premium edition. Let's get into this review. <laughs> Let's just have a very, very nice close-up look at this guy. It really is. I really do like it. I mean, this camera is making it a lot brighter than it is. I mean, if you put a very nice light to this, you will really see a lot of the pigments and that in the in the, in the uh, you know there's there is it is a very very nice paint job. I must admit. On the alt mode, it really is very nice. There is, I don't know if you'll see it on my camera, but there is actually little Autobot symbols in, on the wheels. There is like a little Autobot symbol on the front, just there, but again, man don't seem to really want to focus. Autobot symbols on the side. And the wheels roll quite nicely. Also, you can, these series accessories, you've got this, is um like blaster slash shield weapon on the film and he can also put his sword underneath which is pretty cool and uh, it is a very nice figure i really do like the alt mod um i mean i'm a big fan of the barricade toy um i really like barricade from this line um so this guy is certainly my second favorite so far so let's transform him shall we so First of all, I think it's the easiest way just to kind of split the front a little bit, get the top like that, get the get the whole front and just split it. This whole bit bring on the front back. These side bits, these side panels, just bring round and fold into the back like. So, so they just rest like that. Then these bit arm bits, just bring them to the side and put them in in like that. These bits on the arms bring down. Then this is obviously the chest abdomen of Optimus. So, as you can see, for some reason Optimus's head has come off, which is not what I planned. <laughs> This is his chest, so what happens is bring it upwards, make sure the head is away, out the way, and just pop into place. Then these bits here just slide slightly up, so that completes his chest. Now bring the legs completely down, split them. These toe bracket things. Uh, that split between uh, that split from the legs just twist and they will just rest on the side of the legs like so make sure you 360 swivel his waist and swivel the legs back round as well so I completely forgot to do that so pretty much the silver bits face forward so make sure you do that feet twist completely around and plug inwards like that then the front of the cab what was the front of the truck just pegs onto the side of the legs and now that is the legs now completely done bring the arms to the sides then this which is the roof you just plug into like down plug so now we come to the robot mode i really do think they've done a good job with him now there is a slight issue i have with it and a lot of people have the same thing this is not a qc problem well it kind of is a qc problem but it's uh seems to be everybody's is the same so this is just the generic way that they've gone about painting his face optimus's face paint is actually probably the worst bit of the entire figure if you notice everything else is actually really nice got this really nice chrome paint on his chest even though 
if you, if you think about it, there should be a little bit more detail to the paint application all, 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 all over the figure. Um, but I generally do think it is nice that the legs look really nice. The flame job and everything on the cab bits look really nice. And I think they've done a pretty damn good job, even though his face sculpt does kind of, you know, it would have been nice if his face would have been a lot nicer and well painted. Also, he does have back kibble. Um, so the side panels stick out like that. And the back, the, the, obviously the top of the cab is there. It just is there. I mean, it's, it certainly isn't as bad as, I think, the Age of Extinction Optimus Prime. Because the reason why I say that is that essentially it was just a shell former. If you remember, it was pretty much just a shell former. And the entire wheel assembly and everything was is, it was the entire back, uh, back end. So, quite frankly, I think this is a big improvement over that, that design, I think. And there he is with his accessories, his sword, and a pretty, that is actually quite a nice uh, detailed uh, shield. And there is like Sabatronian markings and all sorts on the blade itself, which is very nice. Um, articulation on him is a little bit hindered because of how much there is on the legs, but you can get... Um, you know, fairly decent swivel of the foreleg. You've got waist articulation, you've got head on a ball joint. His arms, you can get quite a good range for swivel joint at the top and a very decent elbow as well. Um, so yeah, his, artic his articulation is decent enough. Um, you can get some, can get poses out of him. So that is Transformers to last night. Optimus Prime, Premium Edition Optimus Prime, and I will th I will say I, I don't think he's he certainly isn't worth the price I paid for him, which I did pay full whack when they first was released. I would I would gladly pay about fifteen quid for this guy, because quite frankly, even though it's a nice figure, fifteen quid sounds quite decent. Fifteen to twenty pounds seems a little bit more realistic for this guy. Um, I think anything more than that, you, you think you're kind of asking a bit too much for what you're getting. Um, and it goes, it's not just this guy, but it goes for the rest of them, the rest of the deluxes. I think they should have been a lot cheaper as well. But what can you do? This is the premium edition line. Premium. You know, with it saying premium, you're pretty much going to pay a premium price for them, aren't you? So, but anyway, so I I do like him. It's a nice figure, but very nice. Uh, some nice pa uh, paint application, even though it would have been nice if he had a bit more. Um, uh, but even though I'm not a f massive fan of the films, you know, with that said, you know, I do actually think this is a decent, quite. It's becoming quite a decent little toy line for the for the movie. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back very soon with more reviews. And uh, stay awesome. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.